for you guys um, for this your effort to no calculator. So to do that, my first move is I'm going to get the non-perfect constant out of the way. And leave a space for the perfect one. Okay, so how do I get my perfect constant? The B, okay, that's your A, B, C. Your B, you're going to half it and square it. So my negative 5, I'm going to half it. And then square it. So that means 25, 25 positive, 2 times 2, 4. So 25 fourths is a perfect constant. I should go there. Okay? So that perfect constant, I'm going to add it to both sides. So plus 25 over 4. And I'm going to do it to that side too, plus 25. Okay? So from here, now I need to add the right side of the equation. Let me erase this mark right here. Okay? So in order for me to add these, I have to have common denominators because this is a whole number and this is a fraction. This is already. 4, it's 25 over 4. Negative 1 in order for me to get into 4, it's I have to multiply by 4, the numerator and denominator. So negative 4 over 4, and then plus 25 over 4. So when I add those together, this is positive, and this is this positive, this is negative. I'm going to get 21 positive over 4. Okay? Okay, so I do that equation, now I know what I have on that side. On this side, okay, we already did all of this. This is your perfect square already. The whole purpose of adding that 25 over 4 is to make this perfect. So I'm going to write it as a product of its, of its sides, right? So here will be x, and it's always half of a b. So this half it, this one right here, that's what goes here all the time when you half it. So negative 5 over 2. When we did simpler uh, problems, I pointed that out, right? So if it was like plus 6x, you would have x plus 3 on the, on the sides. Okay, so here now we're going to move that one over, make it equal to 0, and we're done. So minus 21 over 4, minus 21 over 4. So this is my vertex form. f of x equals x minus 5 halves squared minus 21 over 4. Okay? So to go over it again, we first take the non-perfect constant and move it over to the other side with inverse operation. We leave a blank. The b, we half it, and we square it. Once we have it in square, that's our missing constant, our perfect constant that we have to add to both sides. A whole number and a fraction, we got to make it into common denominator in order to add them together. So this is already your perfect square, so you write it as a product of its two sides. Half of the b goes here. So that's vertex form. Vertex form. Okay. The next one asks for the, the what transformations went on from the parent. This is a parent x squared. Okay, so I'm going to my vertex form here. Okay, I'll do a quick sketch. So the parent goes here at 0, 0. So the parent will be like the parent that's here. But in this case, what happened to the parent? Well, it moved right 
five halves and down 21 fourths. And that's all you have to say. Those are the transformations. It moved or um, to the right five halves and down 21 over four. Okay? That's it. That's your answer for this one. You can write it as a sentence from the parent and move so and so. Okay, for number three, we're going to describe a bunch of things. The vertex, direction in which the parabola opens, axis of symmetry, number of x intercepts. I need my sketch. Okay, so I will write the sketch over here. From the parent zero, 0, we know that it moved right 5 halves. It doesn't have to be exact, we just know that it moved right some, 5 halves. And then it moved down 21 over 4. So my vertex is here, and it's going to be because it was right 5 halves, so 5 halves x, and down 21 fourths, negative 21 over 4. Okay? So vertex is 5 halves negative 21 over 4. Okay, axis of symmetry, oh, I'm sorry, direction of which it opens. From the beginning, we already knew that it didn't have an, uh, the A is 1, and it's a positive 1, not a negative, so it didn't reflect, so it's opening upward, it's a smile. So over here we would say it opens upward, because A is positive. In this case, it's a positive one. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to draw my actual parabola here. The axis of symmetry cuts the parabola in half. So it's this one right here. Okay, that line that cuts it in half, that's my axis of symmetry. Okay, symmetrical means like, you know, it's the same in the both halves. So yeah, we've got to cut it in half first on the middle. So my axis is And then finally, the x-intercepts. So with my sketch, I know that it crosses twice. Right here. So... or um, the graph okay and the word really is here on, on the on vertex form you've shown it you've shown how you got the transformations from the vertex form and you show your sketch to get all of this right here Okay, the only one you're going to have to justify a little bit is this one. Okay, that we did accept by saying that A is positive. Okay, we're finally going to solve. So solve equal to zero again, our vertex form. Okay, and now we're going to solve it. Okay, we'll take the 21 over 4 to the other side by inverse operation. Now I have to get rid of that square by doing square root. Okay, this right here, that means this, that the numerator and the denominator have a square root, okay, because I'm square rooting the whole thing. But because of like this, okay, and then it equals x minus 5 halves, because those two halves, so the, the x minus 5 halves is finally free. Before I move over the minus 5 halves, I notice that, oh, wait a second, this is a perfect square, so I can simplify it before I move things. So over here I would have square root of 21 plus or minus over 2 equals x minus 5 halves. Okay? And now from here, I would just have to move the 5 halves over. Let me have a little bit of paper here. So plus 5 halves plus 5 halves. 
Okay? But if x equals plus or minus 1 over 2 plus 5. Okay, or you can write it like this. All of these are correct. Okay? Alright, so I hope you watch the video several times to get the steps down. This is a little harder because it has fractions, but on your packet for this, uh, for 7 11, I believe. You also have an exemplar, so packet 7 11. Okay, you have all the steps for 7-Eleven, what we did to complete the square with the simple one. And you also have all the steps for this uh, question, like very similar to this one in the review, where it was a fraction. And you have all the steps written down as well on that packet 7-Eleven. Okay, all right, good luck in your FRQ tomorrow for this question.